My name's Steve Bate and I have retinitis pigmentosa, which is an eye condition. But it wasn't actually diagnosed till I was 35. Uh, uh, a relief when I found out in some ways, but quite horrifying in others. I'm Adam Duggleby and I'm Steve's site pilot. I've been a cyclist since I was about 12, so I've been racing since I was 13. In 2013, I went for a talent ID day with British Cycling, which was my first experience, and that was literally just a power test uh, for the initial stages. And then from there, I was paired with Jason Queerly. Mm -hmm. So he was my pilot for probably six months until he retired, and this young whippersnapper came along to take his place. But I basically rode with a psychiatrist at the time who worked for British Cycling, who was on my the team, um, and he just was saying that they needed somebody and then we did a road camp in Bath together. The first time we met each other um, and I've been doing it ever since. Trust is massive and you know right, right from the very first time I rode with Adam it just worked really well. You know everything's down to Adam and you're the guy in the back like I am who's got no control whatsoever but you've got all the trust in the guy in the front. Well, we goof around a lot and stuff but uh, and yeah it's good fun. I don't think we've ever fallen out. You know, we, we don't speak that much on the bike, to be honest, when we're racing. It's just kind of uh, all pretty intuitive, isn't it? If I can come away knowing that I've given 110, uh, you know, to you know, to our performance, then then I'll, I'll be happy with that, whether or not that's worthy of, of a medal or not, really. The competition is very, very high. Like it is, our category is just getting stronger and stronger every race we do. It's kind of funny, I've worked so hard for that selection phone call, to, you know, to be told, and, and it's kind of such a relief to to know that all that hard work's paid off. Both of us have made a massive amount of sacrifices. You know, our, our partners, families, you know, that's the part that people don't see. It's fine for us on a bike, because, you know, we get the medals and get to stand on podiums. You know, it's just nice to go out there and deliver performances that they know you can achieve. So to be finally going to a Paralympics is, is just phenomenal. You know, for me, it's three years ago, I set an impossible dream or an impossible goal, and. After getting that phone call, it's like, right, this is, it's turning this into a reality now. It's, you know, and it's just, it's phenomenal. When I was um, like 16, 17, 18, I was on the junior, um, the junior team, the junior GB team. Um, so I rode with, you know, the guys like Clancy and Cav, people like that. Even then, I didn't think that I'd ever go to like a games, whether it be Paralympic or, or, or individual. You know, hopefully people take a load of inspiration from it and, and get out and be active and, and try and, you know, better themselves and, you know, because that's, that's what we try and do day in, day out. To me, it's all about knowing I couldn't have done any more.